hey, guess what? The Gaither Vocal Band has released new music. I've listened to it all, and I'm going to review it and break it down right now. You may be asking yourself, do we really need more Christmas music from the Gaither Vocal Band? And to that I say, why not? Praise the Lord. But seriously though, they could never top you. I think this album is innovative in a way that Bill and the Gaither Vocal Band has been for the last 30 plus years that the group has been together. The songs are great, the production sounds really, really good, and this is still, in my opinion, the best five-person Gaither Vocal Band that has existed. Now let's go through each track and I'll give you my thoughts. We're going to start with number one, Come and See What's Happening. I was hesitant when I saw this on the track list before I even listened to it. I was like, what the heck are they going to do with this song? It was on the Christmas Gave Their Vocal Band style record. And before that, I think it was on a homecoming video. It was very country, bluegrass, gospel, toe tapping, you know, and I loved it. But this version has been given a facelift. It's been freshly recorded with a new arrangement, updated for modern listeners to reach a wider audience. They've omitted a lot of the vocal acrobatics that were in the original to favor singability in this one, which I totally get. It involves all the group members, gets them involved instead of it just being like a one or two person song. I like that as well. I really, really like what they've done with it. I give this song a four out of five. Number two is Home for the Holidays. Now this song has been recorded by everyone and their mother. It's been done every single way that you can imagine. There's nothing new under the sun, as the Bible says. I, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I find it a bit cheesy, but I don't hate it. It's got some redeeming qualities. It definitely cements my belief that this is the best five person vocal band that has been. There are some cool vocal moments in this song, but the arrangement, I don't really dig it. I give it a three out of five. Track number three is New Star Shining, which was originally recorded by Ricky Skaggs, I believe. Man, if you have a story song, give it to Wes Hampton. He will knock it out of the park. He'll take it to the next level. He just has so much heart and tenderness in his voice that just allows him to communicate those songs in a way that nobody else can. I know that I'm biased. Wes is like my musical hero. He's also my friend. I've gotten to know him so well over the years and he has been such an inspiration to me. Wes, if you're watching this, love you, buddy. You sound incredible. I give the song a five out of five. I know, I'm biased, I'm biased. Moving on. <laughs> Track four is Gloria and holy crap, this is like different than anything I've ever heard from the vocal band period. Now, because I'm in the community, I hear a lot of riffraff about the vocal band and how contemporary they are about Bill, like pushing the boundaries of the genre. I just have to push back on that. Look, keep this in mind. They are trying to reach people for Christ. I think that is one of the best things about the Gaither vocal band is that they try to set trends for our genre and they're trying to do that by appealing to a wider audience. There's a lot of synth elements in this track. There's a lot of singability. I think it's super great. I think it's super high energy. And I give this song a 4.5 out of 5. Hey, if you've made it this far, would you mind hitting the subscribe button? That would greatly help me out. And it would be an absolute honor to have you along with me on this journey to becoming a Christian music artist. Anyway, let's get back to the review. Track number five is Emmanuel. This changes everything. This is quite a shift from the last track that we listened to, but there are a lot of cool chord changes. I love the minor tonality, and there's some great vocal moments and nods to O Come O Come Emmanuel, which is a Christmas hymn staple. This track gets a four out of five from me. The last song on this project is called Fear Not. Anybody who wasn't a fan of track number four is not gonna find any issue with this one. It is the most Southern Gospel track on this project. The musicianship is absolutely flawless. The production is fantastic. There's a lot of cool vocal moments where they swap the melody out and all around fantastic. Found myself on that chorus. I was bobbing my head. It was like, a, it's like that triumphant song from a few years ago. Um, we'll never grow old in a land beyond compare. I'm going there, going there. Yeah, it had me bobbing my head just like that. It is a great song. Okay, let's wrap this up. I think there are a lot of things in this record that are great for existing Gaither Vocal Band fans that they will enjoy. There are also things that newer listeners are going to enjoy as well. If you are not a fan of contemporary Southern Gospel, this might not be the album for you, but I personally enjoy it. So much so that I give this album a 4.3 
out of five. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sticking around until the end. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this record and what your favorite song is. One of my favorite things about making content like this is that I get to talk to other fans and uh, just pick their brain. So please, start a discussion in the comments and let's let's talk about it.